We are back yet again, ladies and gentlemen, this time for yet another national record in the men's 1500 meters. In today's Diamond League meeting, one athlete ran an absolutely dominant performance against many of the world's best runners, and this athlete was Stuart McSwain from Australia. For the past year or so, this guy has been on fire. In December of last year, he broke his national record in the 10,000 meters, running a solid time of 27 minutes and 23 seconds. Then on August 29th, he ran a very impressive 5,000 meter race, where he ran a time of 13 minutes and 9 seconds. And for his final four laps of this performance, he ran a time of 4 minutes and 1 second. This was a very solid performance, but then just one week ago, he broke his national record in the 3,000 meters, running a terrific time of 7 minutes and 28 seconds. These three performances were certainly outstanding, but just a few hours ago, McSwain showcased that he is quickly becoming one of the world's greatest distance runners, with a truly dominant 1,500 meter performance. What really impressed me about this race was how brave he ran it. From the very beginning, he pushed forward to run with the front pacers, while the rest of the field laid back to play it safe. By 400 meters, McSwain was already starting to open up a gap, but with an opening lap of 54 seconds, it seemed like he might have gone out too quickly. However, as the race progressed, his lead only got bigger. By 800 meters, he was now probably 20 meters ahead of the chase pack, and with a two-lap split of 1 minute 51.6 seconds, he was maintaining a solid pace. Coming down the home stretch with just over one lap remaining, McSwain's lead was probably around 30 to 35 meters. I mean, it was massive. Now with just one lap remaining, McSwain split a time of just under 2 minutes and 36 seconds. So if he wanted to break 330, he would have to run this final lap right around 54 seconds. Now with less than 400 meters remaining, he swung wide as he actually passed the front pacer. This honestly should not have happened, so if you sense the runners behind you are getting ready to make a move and you're a pacer, please just go into lane 2 and let the runners do the rest. Despite having to make this unfortunate lane switch, he absolutely crushed this final lap. Down the back stretch, he was running all alone, and with a very talented field still behind him, he still had around 30 meters on the field. Coming down the home stretch, Selim Borega from Ethiopia started to make a strong move, but it was way too late as McSwain powered down the home stretch to finish in a new Australian record time of 3 minutes 30.51 seconds. This pace equates to an average per lap pace of 56.13 seconds, a very solid time for this talented Australian athlete. Moving into 2021, keep your eyes on Stuart McSwain because he is clearly extremely talented in all races between the 1500 and the 10,000 meters. This was the final Diamond League showdown of 2020 and McSwain certainly ran his race in style. And now I pass this question off to you. What will this talented Australian athlete do in the future? As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.